Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I have an awesome little tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna basically give you guys another option that might help you fix stuttering you could possibly be experiencing in CSGO. Now, I've made videos on stuttering in CSGO before and how to fix it, but there's a lot of different types of stuttering that you can experience because of a lot of different things. Something called choke in CSGO is a major factor in some of these stuttering episodes that you might experience in CSGO while you're playing. So today, I'm gonna show you one thing that actually helps me personally fix a little bit of my stuttering, but that could also help you fix yours almost 100% of the way. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. So now I quickly jumped into an offline match. In an offline match, you're not connected really to any servers. It's just basically running CSGO on your computer alone with no internet signal. So ironically, what we're going to be talking about today is not going to affect my situation whatsoever right now. So don't worry too much about that. I'm mainly just going to show you guys the one command that's really going to be the thing that's going to solve your problem for this video. Now, like I did say in the intro, there are many different things that can cause stuttering in CSGO, but one of the major things that can affect your stuttering is something called choke in CSGO. Now, if you guys look down at my net graph right now you're gonna see in the middle line in the middle of that middle line you're gonna see a word that's just called you're gonna see a part that just says choke and then it's gonna give you a percentage number now I know some of you guys probably don't have your net graph up or don't even know the command for it at all so basically to bring up what we're looking at right now go ahead and open up your console and go ahead and type in net underscore graph and then space one to enable it. Like I said, this is gonna bring up your net graph so you will be able to see your choke percentage right here. Again, like I said, I'm playing in an offline match. Mine's gonna be 0% no matter what, but ideally, if you wanna see these numbers be as accurate as possible, just log into any online server on CSGO, ideally the CSGO official matchmaking servers, and you'll be able to see an accurate representation of all these numbers. Now, the main thing I did to fix this choke percentage number and bring it back down to zero if it's anywhere above, is basically use the rate command in CSGO. All I did was open up my net graph, type in rate, and then 128,000 and hit enter. Now, what this is going to do is it's basically going to force your rate in CSGO. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what rate is, the rate in CSGO is basically the connection speeds allowed to the CSGO servers. Basically, how fast your computer is able to communicate with the internet servers that run the CSGO servers that you're playing on. For some reason, this number is supposed to be set a lot higher by default, but isn't being set correctly for some people. I don't know if it's just a glitch in CSGO go or what exactly it is but setting a rate number through the command like this is something you can do that will fix that rate number and bring it way back up to where it should be now i'm gonna go ahead and throw a quick chart up on screen right now just to give you guys an idea of what your rate should be compared to your internet speed rate is compared to your internet speed so if you guys want to use speed tests or something like that to figure out how many megabits per second your internet is basically getting to your computer you can go ahead and check that out and then set your rate according to in csgo now i know i kept saying i was going to focus mainly on show in this video, but that's not the only thing I do want to talk about. Now, sometimes, believe it or not, your FPS number can actually cause some stuttering in game. As some of you guys know, I have a pretty beefy computer, and while I can get 300 to 400 frames consistently in CSGO, that doesn't always mean that my game's going to be running its smoothest. In order to get that, my computer components, especially my graphics card, are going to be forcing themselves to run as fast as possible to push as much FPS as they can, basically stressing all of its core components to be able to get the maximum quality it can out of it. Now, not only can this cause problems like overheating, but it can actually cause other problems within the card to cause your game to start stuttering a little bit as it tries to push as much FPS as possible. Recently, I was also experiencing some stuttering because of this, and I found a super simple way to fix it that actually doesn't really hurt your performance in game. Now, once you hit a certain amount of FPS, going above it really doesn't make a massive difference unless you're going like 300 to 400 frames above it. Like I said, my graphics card can easily get 300 to 400 FPS, but limiting it actually helped my game quite a bit from its little random stutters it would get every once in a while. I ended up limiting it to 250 FPS instead of running at 3 to 400. And while that's about 100 to 150 frames on average you're taking out of your game, it really doesn't make a massive difference for CSGO, especially for me who's someone playing on a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor. If you're one of these people who want to try to set an FPS limiter on your game, whether you're getting as many frames as me or not, this is the command you're going to use to do it. Go ahead and open up your console and type in FPS underscore max and then your number. Like I said, I set mine to 250 so I can go ahead and type that in and then hit enter to execute that. Now you're not going to notice my frame rate change because I am on the home screen and the max home screen FPS value in CSGO is 119 so it's not going to do anything here but if I was to go in game my FPS would max out at 250 frames per second and basically set a max point for my graphics card so it's not going to consistently keep pushing itself over the top again and again and again. 
Now, like I said, some of you guys might not be getting as much FPS as I am, but say you're getting 100 FPS on average, pushing as much power to your PC as possible, but you realistically also only need about 60 because you might have a 50 or 60 hertz refresh rate monitor. Try capping your FPS at something around 60 or maybe 70 if you want to go a little bit above it to be safe and seeing if that takes away any of your stuttering. Now, this isn't going to work as much for everyone, but it definitely is going to help remove a little bit of that stuttering in game and also help to keep your computer a little bit cooler which is definitely going to make an impact on the performance that you're getting from all of your PC parts together. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. I mainly wanted to show you guys that one command that should help you guys fix and lower your choke, and by doing that, that should reduce major amounts of stuttering that's going to be happening in CSGO, and if not, all of it. Anyways, if I was able to help you guys out, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you are new, and if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to join my Discord server, which is linked down in the description below, and message me there, or go ahead and simply drop it down in the comment section below. But with that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.